What's up, everybody? Um, I gotta be quiet because the whole family's sleeping, but I wanted to wake up early so I could tell you guys about this new Canon camera that I'm holding, which is called the M50. It's their first 4K mirrorless camera. And um, yeah, I wanna start by making some coffee, but is it too early to grind beans at like 7 a.m. when people are still sleeping? Is that like a, that should be fine. For those of you who like, for those of you guys who actually enjoy coffee, who here has eaten a coffee bean before? I feel like I've done this before, but I'm not sure. I mean, it's not bad. My face might tell you otherwise, but it's not the best, but it would be like a direct and quick way to just like, if you didn't have time to make a cup. It's important to mention that if you're shooting on a mirrorless camera, like what we're doing right now, I'm sure this is in focus. I don't think with 4K that Canon has their dual pixel autofocus. I don't think it works when you're shooting in 4K. The second thing is you'll notice that the frame is quite close on my face because it is cropped. Now you're already dealing with a 1.6 times crop with a mirrorless body. And I'll explain what that means a little bit better when we get upstairs, but it's also cropped when you're shooting in 4K. Like if I was to switch this over to 1080p right now, if you remember this frame, like we got a plant in the corner, we have like a knife block right at the edge there. I'm gonna switch over to 1080p real quick and we'll see how big that crop actually is when you're shooting in 4K. Okay, hang on. I'm in the exact same place right now. I haven't even moved. I just switched the camera from shooting 4K to 1080p full HD. So this right now, the picture you're seeing, one will be up resed to 4K because of the entire Video that I've shot today is in 4K, so, so you guys can actually see the quality of this camera. So this 1080p is upscaled, but we're looking at the frame. Look how much more room you're getting when you're shooting 1080p. And this is still cropped by 1.6 times. This right here is a 15 to 45 lens, but it's actually a 15 times 1.6, which is why we have calculators. It's like 24 mil. So this 15 is actually like a 24 mil when it's on this mirrorless camera because of the small size of that sensor. So then you start shooting 4K and, and it almost looks like it goes into like a 35 mil when you're shooting on a 15, with, which is the lens that you get. So keep that in mind is that that crop is really pushing in on your footage, which makes it a little difficult to vlog sometimes. Like, I mean, I'm holding this out pretty, pretty far so you can see all around me and it's nice with the screen because I can have someone next to me and I can look over here at the monitor and make sure you know they're framed up nicely and dual pixel autofocus is gonna work when we're shooting in 1080p but it's not gonna work when we're shooting in 4k and it's punching in quite a bit more and for your reference I've switched back to 4k so you can see the crop it's pretty uh it's pretty dramatic but I mean look at it it's so sharp <laughs> What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here and welcome to a special episode, a first look, an unveiling of the Canon EOS M50. All right, folks, welcome back to another episode. Today is gonna be a little bit of a shorter one. Uh, it's not gonna be a super scientific, in-depth, through and through 360 3D, you get the idea, review of this camera. I've only had it for like less than a half day. So Canon actually delivered it to my hometown. They drove it up here in like a big black case. They all, it was like handcuffed. Handcuffed, or it wasn't, but like they, it, we had lunch. <laughs> Finally, Canon decides to put 4K into a mirrorless camera this is a great step in the right direction. I'm excited. We know that it shoots 4K at 23.98. We know that it does 60 frames per second at 1080p, which is full HD. And then it does 120 at uh, 720p. That's cool to have, cool to play around, but uh, my opinion on that is uh, 2018, I'm not shooting 720p. I don't think anybody is, so. Okay, opening this up, boof. You got your manual, your warranty card. All of that stuff inside here. Let's take a look at the body. Boom, there it is. It's solid. It's a good, like, heavy, solid body. It doesn't feel stupid and toy-like. Like, it feels feels like a camera. You'd be excited to have this in your hands. You wouldn't be thinking at all by any means, wow, this really, really blows. What have I done? What else we got? Strap. We have 
charger, battery, and then here, and we have our kit lens, our 15 to 45 kit lens. So that's that's the standard one. I've seen that before. Have that on like the M5 and okay. Let's raise this back up here. Mm. That is what it looks like. It's pretty small. There's the back. Now one of the first things you're gonna notice is this has a very swivel LCD. So that makes it perfect for vlogging, perfect for doing Instagram stories, selfies, anything like that, which is what every vlogger wants in this day and age. We need a flip out screen that actually shows us what we're filming. It helps tenfold. I don't use one on my big vlogging camera. I wish I had one every day. It's a small enough body that you could hold this without a gorilla pod. It's by no means a stretch to hold in one hand, so that's nice. Uh, and if you're doing vertical stories on Instagram, Instagram, uh, that's actually really, really easy to use. A uh, big benefit of this camera that I'm noticing right now with the fact that that swivel LCD screen does come out to the side. Look at this. I don't know why they used to do this. So this is the M5. This is the top of the line mirrorless camera that they have. The only thing is, I don't understand that like the screen flips down. But if you're going to put this on a tripod or anything like that, no. The fact that now we have a nice, compact, little, little tiny mirrorless camera that has a flip out screen, uh, that right there, beast. Flip out screen in 4K, that's a vlogger's dream right there. That's what everyone's like, cool, I'm sold. Let's throw the lens on this bad boy. There's the sensor. Look at that, it's so cute. So that's a 1.6 times crop sensor, which means any lens that you put on this camera is going to be times, you're gonna times that focal length by 1.6. Okay, so this is a 15 to 45 millimeter lens. So 15 is as wide as it goes. But because this is a smaller mirrorless sensor and it's got a 1.6 times crop on it, that means this 15 millimeters here, the wide part of this lens, 15, needs to be times by 1.6, which is gonna give you around 24 millimeters. So you're not actually getting a wide angle 15 millimeter lens, you're getting a 24. So if you wanted something even wider when you're vlogging, you'd probably wanna pick up their 11 to 18 lens. You wanna go as wide as possible because that crop is still going to add focal length to that wide angle lens. That is the whole package. You got a little pop-up flash there if you wanna do some portraits. It's not too bad, it's not too heavy at all. It's got a nice grip on the front here. Get your mic input on the side here, which is great. You got your battery and your memory card right there in the bottom, SD card slot. You got your tripod mount there on the bottom. Your HDMI and your USB cables here on the other side. And that's pretty much the outside of the body. And then you get your hot shoe for mounting your vlog mic. So you take that little piece out right there. You're gonna go with the Rode Video Micro if you're rocking this camera would be my guess, just because it's gonna keep that nice, slim, smaller profile and that would essentially be like your entire rig. And if you're going vertical, boosh, nothing's in the way. You still got a mic and there you're off to the races, just rocking those IG stories, just, just killing it. So they got something in here called dual sensing image stabilization. There's a chip in the camera that actually compensates for sensor shake and then it works with a lens that has image stabilization built into it and they work together to get you the smoothest possible image. So it's not like a fully dedicated IBIS, which is like an in-body image stabilization. It's not there yet. It's a chip inside the camera that works with the lens to give you uh, the best result possible. So as long as you're using an image stabilized lens, it should be good. Now it is a much lighter camera. So if you are using a lens that doesn't have IS on it, uh, you might notice a little more camera shake than if you're using like a heavier DSLR. One downside though, when you're shooting 4K, the dual pixel autofocus does not work. So contrast detection analyzes the pixels on the sensor to determine what's in focus. So the subject with the highest contrast remains the subject that's in focus. So like anything, when I talk about 4K, like yes, 4K is great. And I always try to remind everybody that different cameras produce a different type of quality 4K with regards to the bit rate and the type of codec that it's using and the lenses and all that kind of stuff. So the 4K that you're seeing from this camera is going to be significantly better than the 4K from this camera, but we're also looking at uh, like a $10,000 cinema camera versus uh, you know, a thousand dollar mirrorless camera. So like, it's not a fair comparison, but if I did want to set this up on a tripod and run audio through like a, a field recorder, setting it up in your studio with a ring light or anything like that would probably look fine. So like, let's try that for an example. This is what it would look like. Okay, so this is the M50 in 4K, pretty much straight out of the box using the 15 to 45 lens that comes with the kit. So I haven't added any adapters. There's no L series lenses. The only things that are added to this scene is a light 
light. So I'm using this light right here. That's what it would look like without the light. Uh, some background lights, and then I'm using an off-camera audio source. I've actually got my boom mic plugged into a field recorder. I'm just syncing this audio in post. So if you were starting a YouTube channel and you needed some kind of a camera to set up on a tripod and talk into, buy a ring light, whatever, uh, this is a perfect, like this would work. You've got the screen so you can check to see what's in focus. I'm using the face tracking right now. So I should be able to move over here. I should be in focus. Should be able to move over here and I'm in focus. If I come all the way back, I should still be in focus without having to worry about anyone behind the camera manning it or anything like that. So obviously, yes, a different quality 4K coming out of a camera one tenth the cost of the camera that you're looking at right now, but still a great starting point. So, I mean, you gotta keep in mind that this is an entry level camera. It's not gonna be fully stacked like some of the cameras we're used to using on this channel and reviewing that sort of thing. I just wish that when it was in 4K, I wish that it was dual pixel AF. That's, to me, that's a bit of like a, ah, uh, Come, man, come on. The focus does work when you're shooting in 4K. It's not gonna not focus, like it still does the job. But Canon's dual pixel AF is just so good that why wouldn't you wanna put that in there when you're shooting 4K? Like that would just make it like bulletproof. So that's its downside to me is, is, the, is the not being able to shoot dual pixel in 4K. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at the Canon M50. Is this a camera that you would buy? Let me know below if this is something that you would actually use vlogging or if you're a beginner, does this entice you? Is this the kind of thing that you would jump on? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. So hit that like button if you like this video, smash it if that's something that you're into. Subscribe if you aren't already and, and I will see you guys tomorrow.